the only religious book. I'm saying the only religious book on the face of the earth. Which has this expression, marry only one is a plan. There's no other book on earth. I said you laugh at us. You're a fool. I said the laugh is on you. You see, he had a small joke against the Muslims about polygamy. You see, since Islam allows, Islam allows you to marry four. He didn't quote the verse correctly. He was saying Surah Nisa, verse 3, or something to the effect. The Quran says, marry women of your choice by twos and threes and fours. But if you cannot do justice between them, marry only one. The only religious book. I'm saying the only religious book on the face of the earth. Which has this expression, marry only one is the Quran. There is no other book on earth. And this is the solution to your problem. He has settled down in America. He has married a beautiful young lady. An American woman. Congratulations. But now, Wait, wait, wait. The, the American statistics, they tell us, there are 7.8 million more women than men in America. That's almost 8 million more women in your country, sir, the land of your domicile. 8 million women who can't get husbands. If every woman, if every man in America got married, there'll still be 8 million women who can't get husbands. I'm asking, in this book of God that you are boasting about, what is the solution to your problem? Jimmy Swagger. If you get the tape, the tape is available. Jimmy Swagger. Anu Sarosh, the tape is available. You can get it before you go. They are eight pounds each. Jimmy Swagger, if you see this debate, at the outset, he's also having a laugh at our expense. He says, you know, Mr. Didat, he says, you know, we had a chat in the waiting room, and Mr. Didat says that the Muslim can have four wives. Islam allows four wives. He just corrected me, said up to four. I said, well, Mr. Didat, Christianity only allows us one, so I had to get the best on the first shot. <laughs> But you see, Christianity allows us only one. And I have to choose the best. Get the tape. Get the tape. He said, I have to choose the best. And you know, the best was not good enough. Look, look. This, all these daily evangelists, all, one by one, they're all falling. Reverend Mar, Mar, Marvin Gorman, an evangelist, you know, daily evangelist, he appears on television, tantalizing millions. He was caught with a prostitute. Jim Becker, Jim Becker, with Jessica Hans, another prostitute. Jimmy Swaggart, average of two trips a month to the prostitute for his satisfaction. I said, you laugh at us, you are a fool. I said, the laugh is on you. You Americans, you have a problem. You British, you have a problem. You French, you have a problem. You Germans, you have a problem. And to these, there are no solutions in your book. No solution. Islam gives the answer to your problem.
divorce, divorce, divorce. Brother, so we should talk about divorce. You know how the Muslim. Look, when you mal practice, when you do something against your own teaching, you are culpable. No doubt the general Muslim community seems to have got that idea that when you want to divorce your wife, you just have to have say talaq, talaq, talaq. But he's supposed to have known the Quran. There is a chapter in the Quran, the whole chapter is called Surah Talaq, meaning chapter divorce. You must have read it. Surah Talaq. Talaq means divorce. At the outset, Brother Sharosh, he said he has been studying the Quran for two years now. Two years. Uh, sure. See what the Quran says, please, brother. And then point the finger at the Quran and say, look, this Quranic teaching is not right, not feasible, it's unreasonable. Talk about the Quran. Don't talk about the Muslims. As much as we have bad Muslims, we have bad Christians. Yeah.